So guys, as Project Project, and I've got a cracking video for you today, guys. I have a absolutely insane Nissan stage here, and it doesn't have the uh, the straight six out of the Skyline, the RB25. This thing has an OM605, and this thing is absolutely mental. Some stats here. 350 horsepower 610 newton meters of torque it's rough it's ready and i absolutely love it and then banded steelies are oh my days sex on wheels so davy your nissan stagia have you got a nickname for this car Brendan? Uh, no. some really. people get nicknames for cars yeah i just find a hard enough for the name <laughs> uh, oh yeah yeah well stagia stagia I've heard all sorts uh, for the Nissan stage here, but yeah, yeah. So tell us a little bit about the car, mate. Um, so it started life as an RS4. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine bought it from. Um, yeah. They towed it back, uh, and it destroyed the drive frame because obviously they didn't disconnect any of the drive shafts. Wow. Um, so it came to me, uh, parked up for about three or four months. Yeah. Uh, I swapped him for a Skoda VRS for the car. I uh, then put my running gear out of my 33 uh, GTST gearbox yeah. engine was running about 500 brake. And that was um, an RB25, was it? That was an RB25. Yeah, champion. Um, and then I had the idea of putting a diesel engine in it. Yeah. So I got a 606 with a Mercedes box. So that is 606 non-turbo or turbo diesel? Turbo diesel. Champion. Um, bought it for about £300 with oh, a box. Oh, mate, I wish it were 300 quid now, I tell you. <laughs> um... But I wasn't happy with it because I didn't realise there was any adapter kits for any right. better gearboxes about the time. Yeah. I heard the Mercedes boxes weren't very strong. Yeah. So I binned the idea off and then I got a, about a few months to about a year later. Uh -huh. I found that them Diesel Pump UK were doing a an adapter kit for it's actually for a Nissan Patrol. All oh, right. But the thousand's the same as the yes RB box. yes I because they use they actually use them boxes. So um, yeah. A modification and the. Um, like the pilot bush and the release bearing uh -huh. sits on, you just have to buy a modify one of them. Yeah. Slightly smaller version. And uh, this the RB25 gearbox bolts onto this. You can use this adapter kit with this. Yeah, engine. yeah, yeah. So. Uh, and this one here is an OM605 now. OM605. So that's now, a five yeah. cylinder turbo diesel. Yeah. And I know we were talking about it on Facebook uh, Messenger, but you were saying it's 350 horsepower and 610 newton meters of torque. Yeah, it's about 400. Was it 450? 50 foot pounds yeah about 610 thought. newton meters at all yeah. yeah absolutely crazy um do you want to show us underneath the engine bay? let's have a look underneath yeah. the engine bay this thing is absolutely mental i have to say i love the homemade dials i think that looks class no seriously i absolutely love that it really does and i love your little Little gear knob there and so guys here it is this is what 610 newton meters of torque looks like so that's a 605 so let's talk about this the modifications i can see your lucas said is that a lucas coolant overfill yep coolant yeah. expansion tank yeah coolant yeah, expansion tank lucas said pink so you know what coolant yeah yeah like. um so basically it's a homemade adapter kit off the uh -huh. standard table manifold yeah um to fit the chinese 3071 right 3076 i think so this would have been a garrett 3071 would it yes yeah um probably had it on there about two year now all right two and a half bar boost still going strong two and a half bar boost Paid wow. 70 pounds for the table wow 70 whole uk pounds um if that doesn't speak chinese reliability i do <laughs> not know because i've seen the way davy drives his car and he's not gentle with it i'll tell you that um, so it's got a big, again, Chinese eBay special front mount. Yeah. Um, one of the biggest cars I could buy, but it wasn't for this. It was off me, my 33. Right. And wow. a few bits of custom pipe work I made myself. That's yeah, it. cool, man. Um, future plans for this? Uh, fix all the rust. So the <laughs> strut tops. Yeah, do, Nissans do suffer from rust really badly here, guys. Yes. I know this personally because I actually have owned about five Nissan Skylines and they're all being 33s and they all rust from here. Uh, but it's fixable, you can buy the strut top panels and I think Davey said he was going to do it himself as well. So yeah, because he is literally uh, you know, a very, very good welder and engineer. 
Um, yeah. Only the plans are probably tired of the wiring up. Yep. Um, BMW gearbox. Yep. And try to find a better ratio rear diff just to give me a bit better yeah. cruising speed. When speeds. you say BMW gearbox, you're going to go five speed, you're going to go six speed. I've got the six speed. You've and got the, the six speed, yeah. Go on, but I've, I'm experimenting with a smaller. Is that, the, is that the six speed out of the 120D, is it? Something like that, a 320D? Um, 320, 320D. Yeah, 320D, yeah. Um, and I'm experimenting with a compound turbo Brilliant. system because the 3071, wow. it's a bit laggy below 3,000 yes. RPM and they don't rev very high. So and obviously with it being a turbo diesel, yeah, it sort yeah, of like increases kind of the lag it. a little bit. Yeah, you have to stress it out yeah. a little bit. No, I think this is a crack and motor, mate, honestly. Do you want to start it up? Yeah. Yeah, however, we'll go around the back. These steelies are huge. Like literally, the the width of these things, they're massive, absolutely massive. Ah, uh, no smoke, no pork. I have to say, I really do like this Stagia. I love that it's not the RB25 DET. I love the fact. It's got a big massive band of steelies on, over fenders. It's running a Mercedes engine. I just love what he's done with it. I think it's an absolutely cracking project. Definitely something that the project project is uh, is all about. And these things, these cars here, absolutely huge. Like you've seen how big this car is. You know, it's got literally space upon space upon space. I think, yeah, I think you know what it is. Absolutely cracking car, and he says it's been absolutely ultra reliable from from you know from there from uh, from when he did the conversion. So we are going to go for a little test drive now. So I'm going to pop the shut the bonnet. I'm going to go for a little test drive, guys. So guys, here we are in Davies Epic Stagia. I just love that dashboard, mate. Let's see, it's class. So I think you were saying at the moment this thing's topping out at 130 miles an hour, I think. Top speed, yeah. It's yeah. Just Private just road, obviously. Yeah. And the diff ratio, because I haven't got a clue how diff ratios work, I'm not going to lie, I'm not really mechanically minded. I think you were saying, is this 4 to 1? These are about 3.9, it's the closest I could get right, um, yeah. from the Nissan variant of differentials, yeah. top of an S13. Yeah. So it's about a 3.9 to 1. Right. It's also the weakest link of the drivetrain. Right, okay. Um, so it doesn't give you very good cruising speeds. Yeah. All the way. Yeah. Uh, you have to excuse the RV or the RV box. It's a bit noisy. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's absolutely fine. I drive a Land Rover, mate, so everything is noisy in a Land Rover, so don't worry about that. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. edited out that little uh, swear in there like <laughs> YouTube I don't think it proves of swearing so yeah I yeah uh, yeah you know what it is I see what you mean about the lag because uh, I really 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 was not expecting I'm gonna put this window up just for the wind noise I think but yeah this thing is a monster mate so you don't do anything below yeah, yeah. two put your foot down you smoke the people off behind you nothing oh else my Quattro, yeah, five cylinder UR Quattro Audi T5, sort of, three Volvo T5, sort of engine sound. Yeah. Yeah, this is a serious machine. This. I mean, you still get about 40 miles to the gallon out of it. So 40 miles to the gallon? Roughly about 40, 40 miles. 40 miles to the gallon, yeah, he gets out just, of this, folks. If you baby, you cruise. 40 try, miles? Try keep what? What on earth? The lads at work have been having a bit of a, um, a bet on what they reckon my GMC V8 disco is going to get. I reckon I'll get 20. I reckon I'll get 20. It's a non-turbo, but they're all going, if you see double figures. <laughs> and 
I'm like, yeah, okay, possibly. The old 70s design marine diesel engine. But yeah, no, this, this, I love this thing, mate. And like I said, man, I mean, look at the, look at the space you've got in the back, man. I mean, you've got like, you know, leg room, you've got like a massive boot, fully loaded with all my tools. Oh, is that what I could hear flying about yeah, before? Was, yeah, swimmers <laughs> everything, do the rounds. Yeah, champion, champion. Wow, this is like 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 transported engines in it. Wow. M104 Mercedes, wow. three litre straight six months yeah. in the back. Yeah, that's uh, like I said, I really wasn't expecting the uh, the power delivery there. It just it just comes on. It just you can sort of hear a build up and you think, oh yeah, yeah, it's starting and then suddenly it's just there. Um like I said folks, it's uh, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like with a six speed and um and a lower ratio or different, I think it's going to be very, very nippy. So as I was just uh, speaking to David there, just as we uh, came into the yard there, a hill, which is there, actually works, because when you say it was connected to GPS? It's a GPS speedometer, yeah, it's just yeah. cheap, again, cheap Chinese, eBay. Wow. Nothing expensive on it, to be honest, other than the adapter kit and probably the gearbox. I have to say, like, I absolutely love this thing, and um, I can't wait to see what it's going to be like when it's painted. I think you were saying, you were thinking about doing the Raptor. Yeah. Possibly, or Definitely. yeah, getting to tidy it up a little bit. But honestly, I think this thing is a is a absolutely cracking project. Um, and yeah, I I kind of wait to see it when it's progressed in the next stage. And I think we'll have to do an update video on that, mate. Oh, so no, but uh, thank you very much, mate, for taking us out. And it's been uh, it's been great. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you later, folks. Cheers now. Bye.